Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Galador review, and also my last Galador review for Throwback Thursdays, which, and this one is on the TDN module from 2002, of course. And of course, at, like I said, this being my last uh, Galador review, of which, and of course, there's the, now there's two other figures that there are, being Aquart and Tagger, and they, which, quite rare, and more expensive, quite expensive second hand, which, well, would I ever get them? Possibly. And do I see that in the future? Or quite possibly in the future? Maybe. But will I ever get them for a good price of which? Or quite cheap and all? Well, I don't know. But it'll just be, if I ever do, it would be a random one. Do I see it happen? Random review at any time of which, but... Do I see it happening any time soon, or possibly ever? No, I don't think so. But just a surprise. Just expect if I ever do, it'll just be a surprise review, like somewhere or which. But anyways, and so now on to the TDM module review, of course, which is why you clicked on this video, of course. But yeah, so on the front of the large thick box here. You do have the Galador Defenders of the Outer Dimension logo there, and of course, Highlight TDN module there, and picture of the uh, model or set in action, and set number 8315, ages 4 and up, and little choking hazard, do not immunize your face, and then uh, Galador.com Lego logo. So, like, as you can talk with, just same stuff, same with the side. So which so so well, well, plenty of all right stuff on this uh, box of which so kind of thick of which even though it may be like very few pieces like eight pieces or something but yeah and on to the back of which as you can see it has just it just with the pieces all spread out. How to open the cockpit part of it, and also how you can have it take off or something, and also so the Lego logo and elements elements not compatible with elements from the Galador figure line, of course, and advertising and all of the figure line, which I have reviewed all of which in set number Galador logos again, and also the little spots that. She can cut out that after cut the tape and then reach in and pull it right up and you can do so. Which there is a unboxing of it elsewhere on YouTube, but yeah. And that's it with the box. And now onto the instruction, or I mean, little she uh, sheet here, which as you see also says that also fold out like the others and as in of course kind of a little story strip of in the style of the figures instead of as the show of course and saying TDN module again and advertisement of most of the other figures that there were that are and also the tech power riser and how it interacts with both the show and website, of course, and on the back of which is advertisement of, or a little promotional poster of all the figures together, but yeah. Well, most of the figures together anyways, but yeah. And now onto the TDN module itself. Well, for, as it is for a large chunky kind of set of which, or thing of which, uh, quite good for as it is. So, like, as you can see, plenty of nice sculpting details into it, of course. And also some quite interesting bits to it, like... And, and it's now for the back view of which, as you can see. wonder why there's plenty of hollow space here, and since, of course, this of which act as a little spot for your thumb, so you can, like, hold it like that to make it fly around, of course. But yeah, and as for some extra detailing, as you can see, plenty of stuff done pretty goodly for that, and also do get 
few little engine type details in there, there which those black bits are for and as for this front view of which I see has some like rigid detailing in it kind of like Gorm also did but actually also a little different detailing in there of course so good to see them kind of add in some variety there and now onto these uh, little leg pieces here which I take out and also you may think this might be the same leg piece as Yen's which but actually it doesn't have the ratcheting uh, motion there and also the legs are the feet are just fixed in and what's kind of odd is how it has a plus rod connection and also and there's and this is which not a plus rod connection and also uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I think you can kind of fit this in with other axle rod connection so which or maybe it's just for this but whatever And so now on to these wing pieces here is which, which you may think and you're probably like don't these also come with a Nick Bluetooth Deluxe Switch? Well, actually not. Because there's a little bit of variation of the two, like has the rubber plus rock connection, this has solid plastic. And oh, which does not go in motion. And like it also did. And of course, good reason is so it can uh, fit on to there quite nice securely. And as for the back landing legs, which also kind of it goes opposite ways. And of course, stands on all four quite good or just nicely. And as for this front part of which, like the lower bar part, does have some extra vents right down here, of course, and a few uh, molded in dots, of course. Of which re representing headlights, of course. And as for this upper canopy, as you can see, which has a nice clear and hard uh, windscreen to it, and also does have some extra detail, some odd detail on top for whatever reason. And of course, and you can slip your thumb on there and lift that out and lower this top, top bottom part out, which is quite good. And oddly enough, you, that this which doesn't include any figures to do so, just got to get figure any of the other figures from the line, like here, which is of course my first review, uh, Nick Bluetooth, of course, and just see them on in there and. Of course, and if I close this up on him, and as you can see, it does fit in quite well, of course. And also forgot to mention on the sides is a little more uh, clear bits to there. Sorry about the background noise, but, but anyways, as you can see, a little bit of good rigiding to it, of course, but yeah. And of course, if you remember in the show, it's, or I mean the size of it compared to the figures is, as if you recall in the show, it's quite a whole lot larger than them. And of course has a boarding ramp that they can walk on to and has it's a whole thing into it. But I guess it's a, they just wanted to integrate it with the figures, which, which I think quite good for as is, but yeah. And of course, this seating, which good detailing as well, but not sure what those dark gray bits are for. And of course, on the sides does have a few screws on there, which we later get to see with the Ben 10 buildable figure sets in 2010. But yeah, or other buildable figure sets in the 2010s, of course. And also, what you get with it are these two little uh, missile pieces which do look like the 
of missiles from the classic Springwell launchers, of course, but although they just don't have any Technic pinholes in them, but you also get these with a Nick Bluetooth Deluxe, of course. And you can like slip it on in there and just tap one bit of it and it fires like so, of course. And you get that on both sides of it. So get plenty of good playability there, and yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. Okay. So for my overall verdict, I think this is which a quite cool and fun uh, thing for the collection, of course. Like get plenty of detailing and also a spot to fit a figure in it, to fit any f of the figures in it. Well, minus Uni, of course. Or, and also minus Power Riser uh, and Shimmel, of course. But of course, any of the main figures, obviously. And and those you get, and of course, quite large for the $40 price point that it is. But of course, nowadays, it's kind of a bit lacking, of course. But oh, also forgot to mention that the thumb part of it, a little different than the box cover. So common thing that Lego oftentimes did is false advertising on box covers, but yeah. And also the foot missiles, also a little bit different on the covers, but not sure why, but whatever. But still, although it may be very few pieces in one large chunk piece, but I can still kind of forgive that, but, and as, and, and now if you're Still, and if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I say go ahead and pick it up if you can. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. And also for this being my last Galador review for Throwback Thursday. And it's now for what is for next next Throwback Thursday. Well, stay tuned. And yeah. And that's about it with this. And again, will I ever do Aquart and Tagger? Well, possibly, but you know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it'll still just be a random review posted whenever, or if, if, just randomly. But yeah. And what? So now, what's next? Next Throwback Thursday? Well, stay tuned. And yeah, and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.